What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to Tarotverse. Thank you for clicking on this video and thank you for your patience and waiting for the next Scorpio reading. Hope you guys are having a great Scorpio season, as I'm sure you are. Um, so this is just going to be a reading looking at what wants to come through for you. I'll also draw for your person of interest for whomever you guys have in mind, but we're just going to look at what comes out from the cards for this reading for you guys. So, May, what comes out be for your highest good? Allow me to see what you need to see right now, which may be different from what you want to see. Take a deep breath, you guys. And let's begin, Scorpio. You ready? All right, let's shuffle a little bit here for you guys. So a lot of you um, may be moving out of a deep healing period there. Almost feels like you have to let go of a support system. So this could be a support system that doesn't serve you anymore. Um, or it could be something that you thought was a support system, but maybe wasn't a support system. I just see you moving away um, and, and kind of coming into your power from something. It's not, it doesn't feel like a breakup to me. It just feels like you're moving away from stuff, to be honest. Um, things that you relied upon. So this could be like old ways of life for you. Uh, I think it's that, to be completely honest. So things are changing for you quite a bit. You're learning new things. You're learning how to let go, what to let go of. Um, a lot of growth here for you, and I like that, Scorpio. It's really cool energy for you. It feels good. It feels green. It feels summery. <clears throat> so really starting off with some positive vibes here for you. Um, overall energy of the reading right now, just whatever wants to come through for you, Scorpio. Let's see what these big three guys are. Yeah, there we go. It's the Four of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the World. So let's take a look one by one. This is you understanding what to say no to. Um, I mean, the Four of Cups speaks to me a lot about boundaries and stuff like that. Understanding what your personal boundaries are, understanding what boundaries are needed, what, what you need more of, what you need less of, how to say it, how to express it, throat chakra type energy as well mixed in with like your solar plexus, like knowing what is best for you and how to communicate that. So we're, sh we're seeing a lot of growth in this area and that is leading to balance. I feel like this is alignment, Scorpio, um, between forces in your life that I guess have been out of alignment and until those forces were to be aligned in a way that works for you, you wouldn't be able to move into the next area of your life which is what we see now so that's the, that's the major energy of this reading i don't know if you're there yet but that's where things are probably taking you and where you're likely going into this world energy into this this new energy of a new life is what i'm really picking up on you quite strongly for <clears throat> picking a spirit and shadow oracle to kind of back up that overall energy for you all right what are we getting here the illusionist to be honest it gives me like magician energy like you can create what you want to create at this time it's almost like reality is an illusion so create your own reality also just be aware of like self-deceptive practices that will keep you out of that balance which is needed to move forward bottom of the deck here is trapped all right, so a lot of you are still feeling like, what alignment, Tarotverse? Like, I don't feel like I'm moving forward. Well, the trapped energy is teaching you how to fly, top of the deck, flying. You know what I mean? So there's this dichotomy here, this juxtaposition between, like, you feeling held back by one force and you feeling free by another force. And I think there's going to be this rotating feeling of up and down for you at this time as you balance things out, understand your boundaries, and understand how to move forward at this time. <clears throat> Overall general energy for love. What's going on in your love life, Scorpio? What's going on in your love life, Scorpio? I see you walking away from something that you're trying to make work like really hard. Like, like things have to go a very specific way for you in your love life. And I don't feel like they're going that way, at least right now, not currently. 
I'm, I feel like the universe has other plans for you right now. Like you're not meant to be manifesting something that you're trying to manifest. Again, what you need versus what you want are probably different things at this time. And that is due to like not being completely aligned with the forces that are moving you forward. So I feel like this is kind of a difficult thing to be working with in your love life. Um, because I see that you do have the ability to manifest things. You do have the ability to draw in the energies that you need in order to create in your reality. And yet I see you struggling to draw in something very specific, which is likely a person. And there's a reason for that. And it doesn't mean that all hope is lost. What it does mean is you need to free yourself of that particular energy because it's driving you crazy. And it's, it's, um, in the way of you moving forward of your progress this particular person or any person that you have on your mind let's do it scorpio let's take a look <clears throat> it could be a pisces with the moon this is a very hard to read energy <clears throat> They're giving me a complete blank. Let me draw one more card. That's weird. This tethered one. All right, let's start with the moon. The moon makes me feel like, I mean, it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with, but I feel like this person is just, when you connect with them, you will absorb their confusion and you will absorb what is holding them back and that will then hold you back and it feels like you're not able to get in as deep as you want with this person so you're trying 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 and as you manifest like you're getting you're you're getting some kind of energetic connection with them but it's just not giving you anything like fulfilling i don't know it's like a really weird energy <clears throat> I see this person doing a lot of work on themselves. This could be literally like them staying home or them having a new idea of what the home life is for them, of what works for them. So I see this person likely breaking free of some kind of restrictive force at this time, but it just feels like between you guys, there's nothing but mystery, unsolved answers. And it's like you don't even see this type of energy that's going on with them because it's like covered in shroud. Really strange energy, Scorpio, with this person. That's likely why you're attracted to it so much because you can't figure it out. I feel like if you were to figure out this person the way that you wanted to, even if like you were to like have them, if that's what you wanted, it wouldn't be as an intensive attraction as you have now. It's I, I'm feeling that it's because you don't know. I'm feeling that it's because you don't have what you want. And that's what makes it so intense. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so we have the devil attached to that as well. Could be Capricorn energy, so Capricorn Pisces coming up. But I feel like this is showing me that this person is still sorting out their shit. Like they're just not, like their energy is just not open for, for people, for love, for something intense or intimate. Which is why, I mean, that's also why you're having trouble trying to break through with this person. The tethered one could be a connection to someone in the past for them, or it could be a connection to you. Clarifying that, Scorpio. No, I feel it's them trying to ground. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a, a connection or a cord to anything. I think this person's trying to ground themselves right now. And them trying to ground themselves and what is best for them is shutting out things around them. Is that good? Is that bad? Well, if it helps them, it's good. Regardless. If it's not helping them, it's bad. It just depends how you want to interpret it. If it's good for them, but you think it's not good for you because you can't get in, but it's objectively good for them, then you're being selfish. You know what I mean? Because this person's doing what's best. But if this person is creating a barrier and keeping themselves trapped, so to speak, then it's not so good for them, right? But it, it's hard to tell with this person because I feel the energy that I'm getting as I connect to them is like 
nebulous. It's kind of like, like what's going on with them? You know what I mean? So I feel like you're, I don't know. I just feel like you're having like a hard time, like understanding things about this person. So let's take a look at your energy in this connection, your energy towards this person and see what we get Scorpio. Ooh, you guys really wanted to speak. King of Wands, again, this was a strong card for you. It came out in the cut and it was showing me all that forward movement in your life. So we got the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, Two of Swords, Reverse, and the blank card. So basically I see that you're ready to move forward, like out of this shit, but you're gonna try one more time to see if you can break through with this person. Because you don't like the unanswered questions. There's something itching at you. And regardless of what reader says what or who says what, you want to get to the bottom of it. I respect that. That's cool. Just know like if you're doing what's best for you or not, I think. Just keep that in mind. But like I don't know. You want to get to the bottom of something before you move on. Mask, pursuit, as well as love. Ooh, Scorpio. What kind of situation are you guys in right now with this person, huh? So mask and pursuit. Let's talk about mask. I feel like both of you are not really showing the true you to each other. That That's for you as well, I feel like then. Like you've got that mask on. It showed me that there's more beneath the surface. Um, there's more to know. There's more to understand. I don't know if you're going to like everything that there is beneath the surface to understand. I think, you know, again, I kind of pick up that there's this like comfort level within the unknown because if everything were known, it just wouldn't be as alluring. So be aware of that. Um, pursuit, again, this chase dynamic is high in this situation. Um, feelings and emotions are there. I'm not sure how reciprocated they are right now. We're going to have to dig into that a little bit. But feelings and emotions are there between each other. And that's creating that chase dynamic. What's your highest advice, Scorpio, at this time, in this situation? What are we getting for you? It's about moving forward at this time. Identify what's toxic for you, what's not working, what's keeping you trapped, what's keeping you from flying and walk away from it with courage into your new life. If you want to look at future outcomes with this person, if you want me to clarify the spread here, that'll be in the extended in the description box below. What I ask of you now is to have a great Scorpio season. I hope that this reading was enlightening obviously not what you guys are wanting to hear in this situation yeah i get that but this is what came out from the cards for this week's reading so we take it or we leave it all right don't take it personal this is a general reading uh, nobody needs to hear in the comments you taking it personally this is just a waste of space so use your mind use your logic and use the advice that came out to make the best of your current situation scorpio and move into the most powerful energy of the reading the world which is where you're going. Don't forget. Take care.